Good morning, good morning. So this is actually the very beginning of my day. It is 12.01 a.m. So I start my day off actually at 11.45 and I change out the guy or I switch over with the guy. I come up here to the bow. I look over. And you got the anchor chain. And if you think about it, it's going straight forward. So you got 12 o'clock. Light to moderate strain. Second mate, AB. Yeah, port anchor, 12 o'clock, light strain. Okay. And that's it. That's the beginning of my day. So, now I go back to the bosun shop and then I'll explain. Okay, okay, so I almost forgot, but today is my day 20, so I have 100 days left on this contract. Um, it feels good to get past that at first, so many. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know how, how long this, this cake run's gonna go, but basically this is it. So I wake up about 11 o'clock, I come down, I relieve the guy that has been on the watch. I relieve him at 11.45. We do a little turnover. I count up some stuff in the in the box. Um, and then at about 12 o'clock, I have to do the anchor report. Now, I realized I probably should have put this anchor report in the anchor reporting video I made. So you guys would have an actual visual of what I'm talking about. So, Hopefully you watch that video, were interested, subscribed, and are now watching this video. But basically, so 12 o'clock, I go up there, peek my head over the bow, call the mate on watch, report the anchor chain, and then I loop back around the ship. I didn't loop back around that time, but I think they have fresh paint over there, so I have to go check that. I'm about to do that. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll do another round. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, so 12 o'clock, I report it. I come back here. Basically, they told me at least once an hour, I have to just do a walk, do a little, you know, because I'm on watch. I'm on a, a security rover watch, so they want to make sure that people aren't getting too close to us. So at least once an hour, they want me to go. I try to go minimum every, you know, 30 minutes, I'll try to go unless I'm really getting into a book, then I'll do it once an hour, but really I'll even try to take a break from the book. So every 30 minutes I'll try to go. Sometimes if I don't feel like reading, I'll go every 15 minutes. Basically it takes 10 minutes to walk around. So I'll walk around, I'll come in here, get warm with the space heater because it's, it's anywhere from 20 something to 30 something degrees. So it's a little cold outside. So I'll get a little warm for a little bit and then I'll get up and I'll go walk again. But, uh, I don't have to report the anchor next until 2 o'clock. We are at 1.57 a.m. Oh, I just dropped my phone down the wrong pocket. Look over this side. Nothing. Make sure no one's trying to climb up that side. Come over to the port side. Same exact spot, 12 o'clock, light strain. 
pull out my radio. Second mate, AB. Sometimes the radio either doesn't work or he just ignores me. Second mate, AB. You never know, maybe he's popping a squat in the toilet. Made on watch, AB. So the only time this ever happens when he doesn't respond is if my radio's dead, which I see the light turning on when I call him, or he's popping a squat. So, next up. We're gonna go down, give him a call. So, what we got here is a handy dandy Gangway cellular phone. Second mate, AB. Again? Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, port anchor, 12 o'clock, light strain. Light strain? And that's it. And that's it. So let me wrap it up. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of knowledge for this video. If you guys didn't know, because <clears throat> most people assume the anchor is not what holds the ship down. Not on vessels of this size. The anchor just holds the chain in place. Now, it's actually the weight of the chain that holds the anchor. Because you think those links, you know, are yay big, almost, what, a foot and a few inches big. And I can't remember how much they weigh. They weigh like 60 or 80 pounds or something. But basically you got each link spreads out to a fathom. And a fathom is 90 feet of chain. So right now I think we have like six fathoms out. So six times 90, that's 180, 180, 180, three, four, five, like almost 600 pounds of chain in the water. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, it's not the anchor itself that holds the ship. It's actually the weight of the chain that holds the ship in place. And that's actually one of the Coast Guard questions. So all the anchor does is grab the bottom to hold the chain from moving around so in a way yeah the anchor does hold it but it's the chain weight itself that holds the ship in place 
and I report the anchor chain because basically, you know, as the wind's coming tonight, not windy at all, but as the wind's coming, the anchor chain will move and you got to report it. That way, you know, if it's getting fouled or if you know the anchor's dragging and the ship's moving. <coughs> so, there's my little bit of knowledge for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's, you know, typically what I do out here when we're anchored. If we're moving, like we just got here, uh, that was five days of sea watch. So, I basically have the same schedule, except my first six hours, instead of doing this, I stand on the bridge for six hours reporting objects in the water, and occasionally steering if we have to do a turn or something, but most of the time we're on autopilot, but that six hours is horrible compared to this, because it's six hours of standing, looking in the dark at water. So this is cake and like I said in the beginning of the video I don't know how long this cake run is gonna go because now they're talking about wanting to switch the day man out so he doesn't have to work on deck for four months so they're either gonna make me a day man again for a month or the other guy a day man for the month and they're gonna start rotating us around that way not one guy has to work on deck for four months straight but Either way, I'm happy with this watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe, please like, and please share my videos. Thanks guys, I'm out.